Ladies and gentlemen, amigos y amigas, I always appreciate participating in GLOBE international events and thank GLOBE for inviting me to join the second World Summit of Legislators. And I thank the Congress of Mexico for hosting this summit. Muchas gracias. With so many legislators in the room, I also want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for working towards legislation that effectively addresses climate change in countries in all regions of the world. We now have almost 500 climate laws in more than 60 countries, covering more than 80% of greenhouse gas emissions, up sharply from previous years. This is due in large part to the dedicated groups here today. GLOBE, the leading international organization supporting climate legislation, progressive governments and legislators in those governments working to craft laws and build consensus to get those laws enacted. This is an important step in the right direction. National level climate laws open political space in the international climate talks at a crucial moment on the road toward a new universal climate change agreement in 2015 and they strengthen the implementation that will be needed once an agreement is finalized. Perhaps more importantly, climate change legislation, when ambitious and applied across all economic sectors, puts countries on a path to stable and secure future for their citizens. I am sure that those of you attending this World Summit of Legislators to politically test a new model for international climate change are acutely aware of this. I am sure you are aware of your responsibility toward future generations. I am sure you are aware of your role in moving the international response to climate change forward. Friends, with this knowledge comes immense challenge because I am sure you are also aware that not everyone is as committed to action as you are. Your challenge is to help raise awareness with those who do not understand the incredible opportunity in climate change. Help them see the value of investing today in a stable, low-carbon tomorrow. I'm speaking not just about your fellow policymakers in all political parties in your parliaments and legislative bodies. I'm speaking about everybody in your country, from the head of state to children entering school. There must be widespread public and political support for policy that incentivizes clean development for reasons of practicality, prosperity, and public good. That support is crucial for truly tackling climate change. And even with all the progress enabled by GLOBE and implemented by many of you, response to date is insufficient to adequately address the issue at the scale and speed we need. In examining progress to date and taking stock of all achievements, we can ask if it is enough to peak emissions this decade, does it put us on the path to a carbon neutral global economy in the second half of the century? The answer is no. And you can help change that. We know that climate legislation is a catalyst for creating jobs, increasing security, and improving health for all citizens. So if you do not have these laws in place, I ask you, to actively look at existing best practices and how they can bolster your development outlook. Put the foundation for low carbon sustainable growth in place. If you have these laws in place, ensure that the implementation is working and working well. Make an ambitious agreement achievable because your nation, your legislation, and your population are already working towards a climate safe future. And as we have learned, these laws are often subject to the inevitable push and pull of politics. So today I ask you to take what laws you have or those you are working towards and make these laws so durable that they are not the subject of shifting winds of politics. When you do that, you give business and finance a clear signal for developing long-term growth strategy. You point investment towards energy and innovation solutions. You put the architecture in place to implement the outcomes of an ambitious agreement in your country for the benefit of your communities and your constituencies. Friends, we cannot afford to wait. 
you must pull the political levers you have at your disposal now. Meet with your ministers, your mayors, and your heads of state. Hold constructive debates with members of all political parties and strengthen the public discourse about the risks of business as usual and opportunities that open up in a low-carbon global economy. Governments are moving steadily towards a new universal climate change agreement in Paris in 2015. Right now, they are determining their national contributions in the international process, and they are determining what can be announced at the Secretary General's summit in September. This is your opportunity to strengthen those contributions, to build momentum towards a strong new climate change agreement and secure the future for the people you represent now and the generations to come. This is your opportunity and one for the world as a whole. Join me and seize this opportunity while it is within our reach. Thank you and I wish you a very productive summit.